if you've attended a graduation this year, you may have been reminded by a speaker that it's called a commencement because it doesn't just mark the end of one part of life, but the beginning of another. For one Danville father, that rings particularly true. His degree merges the pain of the past with hope for the future. Alan Rush will receive a doctorate in electrical and computer engineering. 14 years ago, when Alan Rush began his quest for a PhD in electrical and computer engineering from Santa Clara University, he wasn't the only one in the family starting a degree program. In 2010, Alan's 19 year old daughter Jacqueline was a freshman at the University of San Diego. Oh gosh, she was, uh, she was a great kid. She loved soccer, um, she loved playing the piano, um, she had great friends. Both of their education journeys, though, were changed forever when Jacqueline was diagnosed with colon cancer due to an inherited genetic mutation called Lynch syndrome. Still, neither that news nor the grueling years of treatment that followed were enough to slow Jacqueline down. She really put all her effort into finishing. She ended up with a, a double major, marketing and Spanish. The kind of strength that that, that takes, I, I just can't imagine. I mean, it's, uh, but, you know, and she wore a smile the whole way. That's Portugal, I think. Yeah. Sadly, Jacqueline died less than a year after graduating, leaving Alan and his wife, Joan, yeah. struggling with how to move forward. It would be easy for us to stop, right? It would be easy for us to say, you know what, you know, we're going to be living in our grief for the rest of our lives. And to some extent, that's a little true, right? Um, every day we wake up with, uh, you know, a big empty feeling. But Alan also woke up every day feeling something else. Inspired by what his daughter had accomplished in the face of such incredible challenges. And so, in her memory, Alan decided to forge ahead on his degree. When she did what she did, under those conditions, I mean, that was motivation enough for me. That was, that's all it took. But it turns out there was even more behind his decision. Alan chose to focus his dissertation on artificial intelligence with an eye toward how it could be used in the future of medicine, like early detection of cancer for those with Lynch syndrome, like Jacqueline. There's a growing sense that AI is going to help in the medical field substantially beyond where it is today. And that's the strength that, that keeps us going. It's not our, our own grief, which is, is huge for sure, but if we can help somebody else avoid this. It has turned out to be a degree worth so much more than the paper on which it is printed. It's a symbol of perseverance and of promise. And what Alan is doing is just what part of the rushes do to help with Lynn syndrome. Lynn syndrome, the most common genetic mutation for colorectal cancer. I had never heard of it. One in 300 people have this mutation. It doesn't mean you get it, but it means you're at greater risk for it. And they started a foundation in their daughter's name to help raise awareness. And they started advocating for her almost right away. I have met uh, Joan and Alan uh, when they did a colorectal event a couple of years in a row uh, with me. And from the beginning, you know, their grief was so palpable that they were out there um, so they could ra raise awareness of this. So I'm not surprised by what Alan is doing at all. They're a lovely, mm -hmm. lovely couple. Yeah. And when he says he's going to do something with AI, this is a man with decades of experience in computers mm -hmm. and engineering. So it's, uh, he brings a lot of weight and experience to it. Mm -hmm. And advocating is key. If you know the questions to ask and the symptoms to look out for, you can advocate for yourself. Absolutely. That's